And just like that, the door gives away to let us inside the precursor facility. So guys, what's up? Today we are back in Subnautica and we have a couple new updates to the game actually. Um, the Sea Emperor sounds have been revealed and this place as well is starting to look quite stunning if I do say so myself. You can see walking up here the lights automatically turn on. That's a pretty common thing with precursor technology and how it actually interacts with the player. Kind of like the idea of it actually, like it, it just looks, this, uh, this makes it look amazing. I don't know where the lights are coming from, but they're here somewhere. Don't really see them. Oh well, there's been changes to the Karar's backstory, there's a new teleporter, the Sea Emperor has had some changes, and all around, there's a lot of new stuff going on inside this facility. Now if we look around, we can see we have some repair droids, or whatever you want to call these little guys. Let me just turn on my UI again. What key is that? F5? There we go. Alright. So the Precursor droids are here. They are inside the facility, and they will not be friendly to you if you, uh, if you decide to trifle on their territory. So don't, uh, don't invade these guys expecting... Less lag spikes, apparently. Come on, game. Work with me. <laughs> Don't come here expecting to not have any resistance because these guys are around to make sure the facility runs smooth. And if you're walking around, you're basically a foreign bacterium inside this facility right now. You are a security threat. And, well, you might use this tiny thing right here to destroy a galaxy, which apparently it can do. Even though it looks like a, a mutated Pokeball, I don't think Ash Ketchum had anything like this in his inventory when uh, he went out looking for Pikachu. Now, some of these artifacts as well are moving, they have animations. We saw in the last video that this thing actually hovered around and stuff. Yeah, it's just kind of doing its own thing. Hey, does this thing do anything? Hang on. Because this was the cool one. This one's like a... It's like an extermination nuclear thing or something, but it malfunctioned. No? You don't do anything? Okay, whatever. It's, it's cool, but you can see... Artifacts actually move around now. They actually, like, do their stuff. I don't understand why these would, like, move around. I thought this was like a precursor's early version of a key card. Actually, let me just see real quick real quick what the hang on let me just see if i have my scanner no this isn't the key card never mind my bad this is actually just like a light source type of thing i don't really know how it would be efficient to use like that but i mean it's saying right here it's like a lamp or a magnifying glass which i don't know why would it open the, did the precursors <laughs> they had a really weird way i don't know <laughs> maybe they like held onto it or something on like each edge or some shit maybe they had like four arms like that would make sense for the precursors that i don't know that's that's a little bit of a weird i don't want to get into that no i don't know you move? No, you don't move. I'm actually getting a lot of lag spikes, which I'm not liking. And this thing right here was a freaking weapon! Why are people shaking their head? And they're just like, oh no, he's wrong. This and that. Blah, 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 blah. No, it was a weapon, and they do not use it anymore because, well, weapons are obviously outlawed and, and, and stuff. But, to finally quell everyone, this weapon. This was a weapon. Alright, we've established this. You don't know how much you, you just don't know how much uproar was made for me saying, hey, this looks like a weapon. Because weapons of Subnautica? No, that's not right. It doesn't mean they can't have ancient relics or anything of weapons. This is a weapon. Yeah, this is a, a human weapon. Oh well. Either way, um, I'm going to move into the Sea Emperor and its sounds, and then we're going to move to the Karar because the story has effectively been completely changed. Believe it or not, they've changed one thing in the story. And it's completely rewritten all of, like, a ton of stuff. It's, it's just, there's a lot of stuff that's been changed. I don't know what's behind that door either. Uh, there, it doesn't seem like there's a way to get up there right now. So if you guys know what that might be, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Guys, as always, leave a like for Subnautica if you want to see more. I just started my survival series. Pretty stoked about that. And uh, I actually live streamed my first hour or so of gameplay. Now, Sea Emperor is going to come up right here. He'll do his little cinematic blah 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 stuff and, and, and talk to you with his mind. He's not going to do it right now, or she, or I'm saying genders again. Pl guys, please, please don't start a gender war again. I don't need that in my life right now. Um, <laughs> the Sea Emperor, <laughs> it, has, it has sound effects that were added into the game. Or not added, they're, they're in the game files, but Mobius actually allowed me to have the sound files. The guy actually had the information, and this is also where I found out about the Karar changes. So a huge thank you to the guy Mobius. Check him out, guys. Really dope creator. Super glad I know the guy. Um, he let me have the sound files, so we're going to listen to what this guy sounds like. I'm going to give you my take on it, and, uh, well, we'll just move from there. I've heard a little bit of them already, but I haven't listened to all of them, so it's going to be just as much of a surprise to me as it is to you as well.
All right, so those were the Sea Emperor sounds, and uh, it sounds to me a little bit hostile and terrifying. Uh, I get like, I guess a lion type of roar or something from it when it does its shenanigans. Like, does that make sense to you guys? It sounds a little bit like a lion or something. To me, to me it sounds, it sounds like it's it's not pleased that you're here. But I mean, that's the way that it communicates to you, and um. Like, I'm not aware of any instance where we've actually heard the Sea Emperor before, so I don't know, like, if it's just the way it speaks. Like, I know the Sea Emperor is self-aware. It has it has that level of consciousness uh, within itself. So, like, it knows it's an entity on a planet. It knows what it's capable of. It, it's obviously intelligent to some degree. Um, now, those sound files that you just heard, they they were doubled over. So, like, I had Sea Emperor 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, basically. And I had them all play back-to-back, -back, I guess, in a way. So, like, you could get a longer... Uh, feel for them, I guess, because they are really, really short right now, and there's a very limited supply of them. Now, I don't know if, like, this is, you're probably going to hear this, like, that's probably going to be what you actually hear, and then your PDA will translate what it's had to say. Now, moving into this, we can see, you can see that the teleporter itself is now covered up. You can hear the, the thingy underneath here reacting and doing its stuff, but you can't act, oh, wait, no, we can't, wait, hang on a second, why can I go through this? Hold the phone. Why can I? Why can I? Why can I go through this? That's not healthy. Precursor droid, do you have an answer? You want to tell me why this is a thing? Huh? Punk, you want to go? That's weird. Anyways, uh, you can see that it's all been covered up with sand. Um, I'm not sure. I think what happens is the Sea Emperor itself, when you hatch the babies down there, which you can see that platform is looking lovely now and not out of place. Um, when you actually hatch those Sea Emperor babies, you can go over right here. And then you can... You know, use the teleporter. The Sea Emperor, which just went over me. Just, <laughs> yeah, that was creepy. Um, the Sea Emperor itself will actually move all of this sand. I guess this is just sediment from, you know, so long of being docile in the ground or, or, or under the ocean and just the Sea Emperor swimming around. And other creatures maybe made, made homes and stuff. And You see, like that guy, he just went in there. He didn't seem to give a shit. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is, right there. Yeah, like, you get the idea. It's just the habitat. It's how things have been working out for them. And that's basically that. Now you're probably curious, can you hatch the eggs? Can it work yet? Does it work yet? Well, we will take a moment to look at this I need to get. Oh, you need new stuff now. Scanner room upgrade. Enhances speed or scanner room. Okay, that doesn't make sense, but this... Let's, let's just see what this does. Because I'm kind of lost right now. Is it going to crash my game? Are you going to break the game? Oh god, I think it broke the... I think it broke the incubator. Oh, shit. Okay, that's cool. I mean, I didn't even try to hatch them. Whoa, did you guys see that? It just zoomed across. Yo, they're, they're coming out of their eggs, but they're freaking out. All right, so that must be a little bit of a bug. Um, obviously, that's a little bit of a bug. I just used the normal hatching one then, but I really... Oh, there, yeah, there they are right there. And they're really, really bugged out. Like, they're, they want to get away from me. Look at this. They, they can move super fast. Obviously, it just did it again. Nothing happens, however. So, I have... Two more things to show you, and then from there, I guess we're going to end the video. Something I want to point out is there's a secret door right here that we can't access right now. And I thought it was just like a placeholder thing for something, you know, but you can go through this. And there is a massive area back here that isn't used right now. I think something else is going to be here. I seriously feel like there's something going to be here, and that's not just a placeholder. Like, I feel... I don't know what's going to be back there, because I don't know the layout of this actual facility. But there is definitely, like... There's enough space back there to make a couple rooms. There's enough space back, back here to actually... You doing back down there, stuck underneath the sand... Okay, whatever. I'm not going to do... I'm, no, we're not even going to get into that. Uh, there's a lot of room back here to make just a couple buildings, if you wanted to, or, like, a couple rooms or something. I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, what I wanted to show you guys was actually just up right here, uh, past this doorway, which keeps on locking, inside this room to the very top, there is the precursor alien stuff, where they used, uh, they used the embryos from the Emperor, actually, to try and make a cure for the Karar virus, which they no longer created. Um, so going in through right here, you can see now... Things are a little bit more spiff and span. There's a there's some stuff going on inside the the housing apartment right there. You have egg fragments and stuff, I'm pretty sure, inside here too. Yes, you do. So you can see, 
I'm, I'm going to move in here just to try and get an idea of what it looks like. Because this must have been horrible. This must have been absolutely horrifying for the Sea Emperor to know what's happening and, and just not be able to do anything about it. Um, this right here was the direct result of the aliens prying open one of the Sea Emperor's eggs and removing a dead fetus from it. This is what happened. They ripped it open. They damaged the egg beyond repair, obviously, with some kind of laser cutting tool, maybe, or saws or something, because I do know these eggs are incredibly hard, but they just ripped it open and took the fetus out. It was dead, obviously, because it just could not handle that kind of force or blunt trauma. And that's how it met its end. Now, I would assume it will be right here. Uh, I do know when I looked at this last time, the fetus was like up here floating, but... Uh, it's not there anymore. And you can see, like, all of these right here are also broken open. Which is really, really sad, because, like... Uh, it didn't have a chance. Like, you can see another one right here, also broken up. They've broken open so many Sea Emperor eggs. These things must be precious. Because those things create the... They, they are the answer to the... Why didn't they just, like, let them go into the wild and protect them? I mean, maybe you would have had the same end result, right? Is that, is that a possibility? Or is that a possibility or what? Uh, they they just decided to rip them open and find the answer themselves and unfortunately well they couldn't get the answer themselves no i don't know what this is right here inside this this might be the power our bacterium itself and they were injecting it into the fetus to see if it would do anything or maybe this is the blood of the fetus or the enzyme that they could recover from it but you can see they did some horrible unspeakable things to this thing and just it must have been a really bad time you can't help but feel bad, even though it's a fictional creature and it's a game, you can't help but feel bad for what might have happened to that creature. Because, like, in your mind, it's just barbaric. Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's that, <laughs> like. But no, there have been changes to the Karar virus as well, which I will go over now. And the changes are that the Karar virus itself was no longer to be found to be made by the Precursors. In the original storyline, the Precursors made the Karar Bacterium. Uh, we assumed it was a way to weaponize a new kind of pathological death trap, I guess. Like, they, they wanted a way to weaponize, like, you know, it's like taking syphilis and spraying it onto a population and seeing what happens. That's basically what we thought wanted to happen. They wanted to do, like, biowarfare and stuff, and they wanted a new disease that was unstoppable. Only they had the cure. Which would have been horrible, it probably would have been disastrous for every star system known to the universe. It'd kind of be like North Korea having a nuclear missile right now. Like, <laughs> that's how dangerous it would have been. To an extent. Except it would be on a much smaller scale if you reference that. You get the idea, though. That's, that's the general idea behind it. Uh, they wanted to weaponize it. But now it's saying that they've found the virus. They found it. They stumbled across it. How they stumbled across it? I have no idea. Maybe they went to the deepest parts of the ocean. Uh, like, it, it opens so many, so many doors to questions. If the Precursors found the Karar Bacterium and they didn't create it, how did they find it? Was it just here on the planet and they landed in the water and they realized, oh, we're probably dying? Why would they make all of these facilities? I mean, my theory would be that, um, while they didn't make it anymore and that has been changed, I feel like they would have tried to understand it and and try to maybe weaponize it themselves through those means doesn't really change the motive of why the Karar virus was around in the first place or like their motive and the intentions of what they want to do with that virus but to me I feel like they would have tried to weaponize it and that's the only reason why I can figure they would have stayed here I don't think they would have stayed here just to save some some planet that just doesn't offer anything of significant value like sure there's great leviathan creatures here but I'm sure they know of many other planets that also have leviathan creatures and also have many other weird species and they're not the world police or the galaxy police or the guardians of the galaxy so they don't actually have to stick around and try and save a dying planet because of a bacterium. And now it also makes the question, where did the bacterium come from? Where the shit did it come? We don't have an answer. We have so many questions now and we have no freaking answers. At least I have no answers. I need closure because I had that closure. I had the satisfaction of that shit. And now it's like, 
Hey, you, you thought you knew the answer? You no, know, you didn't know shit. We're gonna we're gonna throw a wrench in this equation real quick. Boom! Overnight, a line changes, and the story is just ah, ah, God, it's giving me a headache. Also, something billion, like over a hundred billion creatures had died since the creation of the virus, um, at least in the original storyline, but they've changed that. That is now since the discovery of the virus. So this thing could have been around for ages. There could have been just ten times that. Trillions of things might have died from this virus. Maybe this virus itself was, I don't know, getting into like all the systems of the solar system or some shit. And and just they had to find the they had to find the cure because multiple planets have been affected. Uh don't know how the precursors would have reacted to that. I don't know how the precursors would have transmitted it around, I guess. All I know is that they were highly susceptible, just like we are. And they needed a cure for whatever reason. But you guys let me know what you think is the most plausible reason down in the comment section of the video. I am done with this video now, and I'm left with more questions than answers, which kind of upsets me. I don't like it when I make videos like this, and then suddenly, hey, you get questions? Well, I have no answers. <sighs> I think my reasoning is very plausible. Um, you guys let me know down in the or down in the comment section if you think you have a more plausible one or if you agree with my view on the Karar virus and all of that stuff. But that's it, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below on the Sea Emperor sounds as well. Leave a like for more Subnautica. Check out my survival series. I've been doing some shenanigans with it because, well, shenanigans and whatnot. Yeah. The live stream last night. Cool. Great talk. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video.